click the Reports icon on the main menu. If you get a pop-up about what's new in Quicken 2007, just exit the window for now. This window is divided into two sections, Quicken Standard Reports and My Saved Reports, which is empty. Let's take a look at some of these reports. Click the arrow next to Banking. We can create reports regarding various aspects of our banking information, including cash flow, missing checks, reconciliation, and transactions. Click Banking Summary. Leave the date range set to Year to Date and click Show Report. Notice Quicken actually minimizes the Reports and Graphs window when you open a sub-report. Click the Customize button in the upper right-hand corner. We can use the Display tab in this window to change the headings for rows and columns. We can also choose between including cents or rounding the dollar amounts, or showing amounts as percentages. And we can organize the report according to income and expenses, cash flow, or category group. The Accounts tab allows us to include or exclude any accounts from our report. Use the Account Group list to view all the accounts in each type. Likewise, the Categories, Payees, and Category Groups tabs allow us to include or exclude any of those items to suit our needs for a report. Finally, the Advanced tab allows us to create reports based on dollar amount, transaction types, and transfers. We can also elect to show or hide subcategories in our reports. We haven't made any changes, so click Cancel. If you remember in our first lesson, we created a few subcategories for household, so Suzanne could generate reports that reflect expenses her landlord would reimburse her for separately from her own expenses. Here's where we see the detail of those subcategories under Household.